Hey guys, this is Carolina Gamer here. Just gonna show you. This is gonna be a really quick video. It's not actually gonna be really doing anything other than just showing you a quick demonstration of the lizard. You know, using this standalone mode uh, with the uh, Gecko 1.09 update that's not released yet, and a battery pack that I made. Um, I mean, this right here looks, you know, as professional as you will get. Homemade. Uh, it's the on off switch right here the connector that fits in um, this is only a three position connector and that's a four position connector there but I mean it still works I'm going to show you guys now basically that right there um, when I was testing it I was just holding it in my hand like this um, it, I mean it's I'm using three uh, I'm using four triple-a batteries in this right here to power this it works fine you need uh, between five to six volts right now that exactly six with the 1.5 per battery uh, so you know that should I'm not really sure how long it'll last but it should you know shouldn't die too quickly uh, but let's go ahead and just turn it on there's no wires other than the battery pack wire of course um, you know, no camera tricks, but just hold this in your hand and then you can go through your menu. Um, like that. Um, and then you can turn it off and then turn it on. You'll see it says 1.9 up there. Uh, I don't have the non-SDHC SD card. So, we've got to get one of those before I can actually make a video of this. Uh, once I have that, then, you know, I'll do a 8 series V1 just so it's not got the probe and all that stuff out. Uh, but yeah, I mean, so far, you know, I've been playing with it probably 30 minutes. The batteries are still doing real good. Uh, haven't actually tested the standalone mode yet. Like I said, don't have the SD card. But I mean, as for the battery pack, I've got that down. I don't think you'll find a better homemade solution than this one right here. Uh, this did come from Radio Shack. I've had it for a couple years, never used it. Uh, and what I did was it had a red and black wire coming out and I just happened to have one of these cables that would fit into here so I snipped the third cable off and just soldered it you know took it apart soldered into there uh, so that the switch on the outside would still work and it would look really nice and not look you know cheap or quick build or anything like that so yeah Carolina Gamer uh, just showing you the battery pack that I made for the lizard. Uh, yeah, Carolina Gamer out.